Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX. I'm back to share another video with you guys. This video was actually Lesson 601 in our Chair Bound the Sprinkle Series, and we're continuing on with our lessons in advanced walking shit. I had planned to do a, um, a video with my partner today, but it didn't work out, so I had to come up with plan B. Now, in the last uh, couple of videos, I've showed you guys how to use the walking stick as if it was a sword. And I'd like to continue with that. Alright, so, to go through what we've gone through already, it's your attacker comes in, you hit them. Let me say he has a blade. Your attacker comes in, you hit the hand, hand with the blade, and you also follow through to the ribs. As you follow through to the ribs, you do a another strike to the ribs, coming back. As you come back, you go across the head, across the top of the head, and back. Now, the second drill I showed you guys, which was Friday's lesson, I believe, which was lesson 600. If you have not seen that one, please go back and view that one before doing this one, so it makes sense. Now, in the second, in the in Friday's part of the drill, it was if the attacker has a knife, hit the hand, hit the ribs. Block, come around at the top of the head. Now, here's today's drill, or part of the drill. Let's say you're putting your, your walking stick back where it needs to be, but still feel there could be a threat from an attacker. So, the stick is grasped in both hands like so. Just as you're about to draw it again, your attacker comes in. Boom! Just that little bit of a thrust, boom, flip it out, bam, and back. So, again, thrust to the groin or the sternum, as he comes down, boom. And back. So, again, again, I'm holding it. Alright. Thrust. As if I'm having a problem drawing it, because I don't necessarily. Need to draw it out all the way. So, boom! As soon as it comes down, bam! Back. Now, what that looks like is this. The whole, let's go through the whole thing and let me face the camera. Alright, so 
as my opponent or as my attacker comes in, I hit the ribs. I come back around to the ribs. I might block. As I block, watch this now. As I block, I slide off the block. Bam. And back. Or if you're using the walking paint or the, the walking stick for stability, the ending position would be here. Instead of here as if it was being sheathed in the scabbard. So Let's go again. Alright. And those of you that follow Kendo can follow this. Alright. So, as my attack comes in with a blade, I draw, I strike. As I strike, I'm striking the hand and the ribs. Then I'm going back to the ribs. As I'm going back to the, as I'm going, coming back from that second rib strike, I'm going to block like so. And I'm going to come across the head. Back. Now, if you want to take it from a bow step point of view, here it goes. So, you still draw the bow step like so. See? Or let's not call it a bow step, let's call it a horn bow. Okay. You still draw the horn bow like so. Striking the hand and the ribs. Then you come back across the ribs. Block. Any secondary attack. Sweep. Sweep. Back across the head. And back. Now, the sweep, the two sweeps are actually parried from sword fight. So you have as the person comes in, boom, boom. The first strike it's going to look like a just one strike, but it's actually two because you're striking the hand and the real desert, as I've said before. So, boom, boom. Back. Now, you may not go directly back. What may happen is. Your attacker may come with a secondary attack. That's when you block. As you block, you may want to sweep the weapon out. As you sweep that weapon out, you may want to strike a, 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 across the rib again. Alright? So, then after that, you can strike the top of the head to put them out, or you can push like so. Let's say the, let's say the horn boy is she, or put back in 
standard position. All right. But you still feel like there's an opportunity for your opponent to still attack you. Now, there could be a second assignment. If there is, as he comes in, let's say he comes in straight on, boom, hit the groin of the solar plexus, bam, or bam, from there. It doesn't matter whether it's one-handed or two-handed. Just so you get rid of that assignment. Okay? And Wednesday, I'll go into deeper detail with this. I hope that made sense for you guys. If it didn't, let me know, and I'll be happy to post a breakdown in the upcoming lesson. Please take care of yourselves and each other one world one love. If you guys have any questions, comments or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on my personal Facebook, please do so there. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye for now.